What's up guys, this is Jay with the Columbia Watch Society and today I'm gonna to give you a quick review of some new NATO straps that I just got in a couple of weeks ago. These straps are made by Wrist Hardware um, out of Los Angeles, California. Uh, so a nice USA company, um, which I tend to look for a lot these days to uh, make sure I'm supporting um, supporting America where I can uh, during some trying times our country is in. Um, so anyway, let's jump right into the strap. So these are um, traditional NATO straps. Um, the material is a 1.2 millimeter thick nylon. Uh, a lot of people refer to it as a seat belt nylon. So it's got a nice sheen, uh, very smooth, um, just a, a high quality like feel for the strap. Um, really dig these style straps and they fit really well on the wrist. They're very comfortable um, and they they just hold up um, much longer than um, some cheaper options that many of you probably have. Um, so as far as the hardware, nice stainless steel um, hardware. Um, you've got wrist hardware, um, sign there in that keeper um, and the other keeper here you've also got the wrist hardware logo um, no markings at all on the buckle but very high quality buckle um, stitching on the back uh, very smooth so it won't irritate your wrist i've had no problem with any of these um, which which is nice uh, a lot of attention to detail during the manufacturing of the straps um, holes are um drilled with um it looks like they're um they're heated here um so you don't really have any fraying but if you do have fraying um like right there on the end you can start to see it's fraying a little bit you know just a, a lighter just put a little small amount of heat to it and it will go away um, one thing i really dig about this these straps in this particular design is this floating keeper here um, that just helps when you got a wide variety of wrist sizes small and large you can put the keeper where it makes the most sense for you um, so that you get a nice um, so you can, it'll tuck really nicely um, you can see here uh, one feature of this these straps that that differ from a lot of the other ones that i do have is this um, the extra thread that they've sewn in here on the end um, it, it does make it, if you've got strap, like a watch with a, um, spring bars really close to the case, like here on the Seiko monster, um, it's a little bit more difficult to slide on like here on this Seaborn Sea Venture, you got plenty of space there. So this thing, I mean, this thing easily slides through, um, the monster and some of the other watches I have like Rolex Submariner, it's a little bit harder to get on, but it's, you just a little force and it'll slide right on. On the Submariner, it's really tight. I mean, it's hard to get even a really thin NATO on that one. You just have to take the spring bars off, put it on, uh, and then put the spring bars back. But one cool thing about the extra threading there is, um, you know, when you do have it tucked and it's on your wrist, um, you know, this, this tail sometimes is a tendency to slide out, uh, but with that extra thread, it, it, it just fits a little bit snugger inside of the keepers and holds it in better. Um, so that that's really worked out well for me because um, at first I wasn't really sure exactly why you would do that. Um, and then I quickly found out that that's, that's probably the purpose and it worked out really well for me. Um, so that that's pretty cool. Um, they got all sorts of colors. Like here is a, uh, like a bond. It's like a silver and gray. Um, never really seen this color, uh, in quite this combination before. Um, here's the blue, very nice blue, like a na navy. Um, here is a kind of a tan, um, or a military, not really a military green, but more of a tan. Um, I haven't worn this one. This is in the packaging just to show you how it comes. Packaging in the box, like no frills. Um, but it's it's nice and it's done well. On the back of the box, you've got, uh, excuse my dog, and my kids are in the background if they yell too. Sorry about that. But directions on how to put on the NATO strap. I mean, it can be confusing if this is your first run at doing one of these. 
Um, but you can, there's multiple ways you can do it. Um, you know, they just, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Um, you just slide in, um, you know, both sides here. And then back through and voila it's on there's several other ways you can wear it um, this is probably the traditional way to do it um, one thing I like and what they did is a lot of folks want to sign the they'll sign this keeper here like they did you know wrist hardware did put their logo here but they didn't put their you know their main your signature where it's got wrist hardware um because a lot of folks like to cut this off i for one a lot of times do cut the flap off and just make a single pass nato uh, and i hate to do that when um you end up having to cut the branding off of the strap um because i i like it i think it looks cool so at least if you cut that off you still got the keeper with wrist hardware on it um which is nice um, I see, I want to show you if you, if you're new to NATO straps, um, just kind of to show you the difference here. Um, this is like a standard bow in NATO strap. Um, pretty cheap. This is probably what many, um, this, I mean, a couple of years ago, this is like basically all you got. Um, and you can see, um, the fraying on the holes. Just fraying on the edge, it's very thin. It's not, it's just, it's stiff. It's not as soft. Um, so this, these are definitely an upgrade and give you that premium kind of luxury feel. Um, and just looks really nice with the, um, the, the material does really well. I mean, you could dress it up or dress it down. I see a lot of guys uh, even now wearing, you know, suits. They wear suits every day wearing it with a NATO strap that match it to maybe with their tie or socks or something. So all kind of fashion statements you can make with these straps, um, which is pretty cool. So anyway, check these guys out on their website, wristhardware.com, Instagram, at wristhardware.com. Um, they got some really good stuff on their social media page. Um, probably find some discounts and such um, through their page on their website. Um, just overall, pretty cool company. Um, they are getting ready to come out with a watch. Their MK1. It's on their website. They've got some pictures of their prototype. Super stoked for that. Hopefully, I'll get to look at one of those here in the future. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if you got any questions. Y'all have a good night.